What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's Blitz of the Day episode, we're going to focus on some pressure I found out of the 52 defense. It's our scheme of the week, and we're going to focus on this because I like the 5-2. It's a very underestimated defense, in my opinion. A lot of people think it's cute, but they don't really know how to run it. We're going to focus on some pressure here today. Uh, some pretty decent... Uh, Pretty decent pressure out of the 5-2. Uh, we broke down some basic pressure concepts in the scheme of the week, but this is a little bit more, um, you know, not tagged to just one play. You can do it out of any play. Uh, but the play we're going to focus on today is fire zone 2. We like to base a line, and we like to crash our defensive line to the right, and we like to shift our defensive line to the left. And then we're just going to stand over the center with KJ right here. And you're going to see this is going to generate quick left edge pressure. You want to have a guy over there that's pretty quick. Uh, if you don't get this pressure, if you're not liking this one, uh, if it's not working for you, what you can also do with this is um, shift your D-line to the left, crash your D-line out, and re-blitz that guy over there. That's a couple extra steps. Um, but you see you'll still get the same pressure. It'll still be pretty fast off that edge. Now, real quick, um, one reason you may not be getting that pressure to come in is if they have been calling play action plays. A lot of people are struggling uh, when people use play action pass blocking um, to, to pick up pressure this year. It's very effective. The cool part is that of this 5-2, it's not going to pick it up. So same setup we just ran over. And we're going to stand over that center with KJ Wright. And we're just going to drop off. And you see it's going to still generate very fast pressure. Now the first setup, going back to that real quick before we get out of here today. Uh, shift your D-line to the left. Crash your D-line to the right. And then you're just going to stand over the center with right. If they call play action play, this is the only problem. Is I think this actually does not. That's the cool part is it doesn't get picked up. Actually, almost makes it impossible for you to, to throw it. So it's actually one of those situations where play action blocking makes it worse, which is uh, pretty cool because a lot of people are using that play action blocking this year to get really good pass protection. But if you stand over the center with KJ Wright and then drop off, you're going to get that really heavy pressure. Really like this look out of the 5-2. Be sure to come back the uh, rest of this week. We'll show you how to get some right edge pressure uh, tomorrow, and then we're going to show you how to get two-way on Wednesday, and then we're going to move on to another great formation uh, in this Detroit Lions playbook uh, later on this week so thanks for watching guys hopefully you've enjoyed this blitz of the days if you did leave a like rating and retweet this video on twitter be sure to stay tuned for some of the more impressive videos to come later on today we're going to talk about how to use all these plays and how to do everything uh in terms of game but this is just a quick setup for you this morning to get you started off so thanks for watching today be sure to come back later on in the day for some more videos and be sure to give me some feedback on how you enjoy the blitz of the days so thanks for watching guys